What's up everyone, my name is Aaron and in today's video we're going to go through how to convert PDFs using Wondershare PDF Element. So firstly, why is it important to convert files to PDFs and vice versa? Well, if you're running a business, doing freelance work, working with sensitive customer and financial data, etc., using PDFs is one of the safest ways to secure and store important files. It's also a convenient and safe way of processing and adding paper documents into digital storage. PDFs also provide a modern and more convenient way of taking care of business transactions online in a fast and efficient manner and dealing with digital PDF contracts rather than paper. It's also a versatile and universally compatible format, meaning you're guaranteed that your files will be accessible for everyone, especially being mobile and tablet friendly. And lastly, it provides one of the most efficient ways to edit your documents. Having the ability to work within PDFs and then convert to a multitude of other file formats means you have the power to work and edit using only one software, but then have the flexibility to meet lots of different demands and aims for your business, your clients, and so forth. Using PDF Element gives you all the power and flexibility you need to convert your files easily with just a few short steps. And best of all, it provides a wide variety of common file formats that these can be converted to. These include Word documents, Excel, PowerPoint, and a variety of images, including JPEG, PNG, BMP, GIF, and TIFF. You can also convert to PDFA, to text, EPUB, RTF, HTML, and HWP. So let's take a closer look and see how easy it is to get your PDFs converted. Okay, so if we open up Wondershare PDF Element, I'm gonna show you the three different ways that you can convert your PDFs. So let's say you have a file open already, like this one here. So all we have to do is go over to the top panel over here and you'll see the word convert and then choose the format that you want. These are some of the more common ones and then you can click this drop down menu in case you want to use any of these other formats as well. So for this example, let's convert it to an image file. So you'll get this window come up. You can choose the location. Let's put it on the desktop, for example. And then you can specify what kind of image. So JPEG, PNG, BMP, GIF or TIFF. So for this one, I'm just going to choose JPEG, hit save and give it a few seconds and then the conversion is successful. Then you can then directly open the window where your file was stored. So in this case, it created a folder for me and then all of my JPEGs are here ready to be used. So the next method is converting directly. So if we open up Wondershare PDF element, we have the, you'll see all your most recent files here, but instead of opening a file, you can just click on convert PDF right here. Then select your PDF, hit open, and then choose the location where you want to store it. So again, we'll put it on our desktop and then you can actually choose from this drop down menu here, save as type as to what format you want it in. So for example, if we choose docx format, hit save and it will convert for you. Again, hit open, it will open the location where you saved it and then you can double click. And as you can see, and as you can see, our PDF has saved as a Word document. So the final method is to right click and convert. So find your file. Let's choose the mountain one again. Hit right click and then over here, convert to. And that will open up Wondershare PDF element. Choose your output format. So for example, if we choose JPEG once again, output folder where you want to store it and then hit apply. It's also worth mentioning that you can add more files here so you can do batch conversions rather than doing it one by one, saving you loads of time as well in one format. So for example, let's choose JPEG once again, put it on the desktop, hit apply, give it a few moments to convert. It will then open your save location and as you can see, all the files have been converted into JPEG and sorted for you in their own individual folders as well. So it just saves you so much time and so much energy. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to use Wondershare PDF Element to convert PDFs. 
So hopefully you found that useful. What are you waiting for? Download and start using Wondershare PDF Element right now. You can check out the links in the description box to find out more. And also do not forget to subscribe to the Wondershare PDF Element YouTube channel and stay up to date. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Thank you.